Yeah. Yeah. All right. Jokes about German sausage are the worst. <laughs> when chemicals die, they bury them. <laughs> bury them. I had to Google that shit. Like, bury them as an alkaline, freaking soft, earthy metal. I don't know. Its atomic number is 56. Okay? You have to be a real smart person to understand that joke. It's punny, but like no one gets it because it's it's really sophisticated. <laughs> the Energizer Rabbit uh, was arrested for battery. <laughs> I'm stealing all these jokes from something I posted years ago. None of them are my original content, and I'm sorry to say it's not my shit. But I don't know. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, I try to catch some fog, but I missed. <laughs> I love puns. I do love puns, and fuck you if you don't. <laughs> now, what I'm really calling about, calling you on this very special hotline, we've got kitties. Now we've got a catio. A catio is a patio with a C. You know what I'm saying? It's not um, uh, bolted or, or, you know, structurally, you know, connected to the foundation, so we're clear with the HOA, but it's this fenced off area that the kitties can go out into our patio with this beautiful, like clear yet sturdy grid of fencing. It's, it's a catio and it's safe for kitties so that the hawks and the falcons aren't gonna catch them and swoop in and try to mangle our kittens. <laughs> That's not gonna happen, not on my watch. What a beautiful job this lady did. The same lady we adopted the cats from. Um, man, this chick has like 16 cats, like minus two now that we've got the two orange ones, some tabby and a, and a, and a Maine Coon. And they're, they're just smart and cute and cuddly, and I want to give them the world. I want to give them everything. <laughs> and a catio allows us to open the screen door, you see, which she, this awesome lady, also re-screened with like special, you know, Fallon preventative, you know, I don't know, some sacred, I don't know what, maybe she used barium. I don't know what element she used, but this new screen door that she screened, re-screened, uh, will survive any, uh, you know, super claws. And they've got super sharp claws. They've got super sharp teeth. Like, I try to reward one after using that robot potty droid thing I've got. Like, I put, like, that squeeze tube of, like, whatever deliciousness cat food and I uh, here you go here you go good job good kitty good kitty and like savage mode kicks in like don't feed cats out of your fingers or hands just don't try it I bled I bled for days it's the wound is gone but like kitties have sharpness in their teeth and their nails so don't F with them okay now with the screen door being open allowing them access to the catio outside the warm heat from the sun and the the high levels, like I'll put the scratching post out there or something, they'll, they'll have a grand old time. We have these extendable freaking fishing poles <laughs> with wire and hanging from that wire is uh, uh, some fluffy jingly thing with feathers, you know, or a worm or something fuzzy like the Muppets. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's captivating and they can't stop playing with it. They will play for hours just batting at that thing if I wedge it. And previously, before the catio, I, I wedged in into the uh, between the cushions of the, the sofa, so that it would just be you know in an arch, and and they had a, they had a grand old time. <laughs> now it's outside on the patio chair. I wedged it between the wood and the cushion, so it can't get moved. And, and, and you know they're just springing into action. Now my biggest fear now now listen is the flying critters, insects, the the creepy crawlers, insects. What do I do? I've heard of Zevo, Z-E-V-O, I think. Um, customers where I work, other uh, friends, just like I've heard praise about Zevo devices. You plug them in, I don't know, it repels shit. It repels them flying people, it, it repels them crawling people. By people, I mean insects and just unwanted invaders. I don't want them in the house, but we have to crack the screen door so they can get out and play in the catio, right? Now, I don't want any other people thinking it's an invitation to come inside. No, 
So, am I doing it right? Do I need to invest in some Zevo products? What do you recommend as a pet owner, particularly maybe a cat owner or uh, whatever, whatever, just to, a boundary? Like, do I need to install a fan like they have at supermarkets, like that blows out any unwanted invaders? <laughs> I don't want any creepy crawlers, any flying insects. Okay, you heard? <laughs> you heard, chef? <laughs> Let me know what you uh, know about this. Okay, bye.